Hi, this is Judd from Presenter Media. I'm going to show you quickly how to use our online customization app. So once you find an item that's customizable, just click Customize This Item. And it'll take you into our online customizer app. So now you'll see you have a work area and you have a preview of your original image. This will not update in real time. To see an update of your changes, you'll have to build your custom graphic. So let's get started. First, I'm going to change the text in my work area. And I can do this by double clicking the text area. And then you get a cursor just like any text editing program. And I'm just going to call it um, Judd's Magazine. That sounds good. Sounds like it's going to be a real worthy read here. Judd's Magazine. Okay, so yeah, I like that. And I'm gonna put a new subtitle in there and I'll show you another way you can change text here. If you go over to text edit, you'll see different boxes um, of the different areas of the text in your project. So I'm gonna change the subtitle. It says display your message. So I click on that and I'm gonna just uh, let's see, the best read of your life, because this is going to be such an amazing magazine. There we go. That looks good. And there's a bunch of other just um, preset text fields or text areas that can be deleted if you don't use them. I'm going to delete the ones I don't want and just leave a couple behind here. And I'm going to change this text. And like I said, I, you can do it over here. Um, or I can just click into it, which I usually do. Be thrilled. Oops. Be thrilled. There we go. Because this is going to be just a thrilling magazine about, about my life. Because it's th so thrilling. Um, See, I got another box down here. I'm gonna change that to an amazing adventure. I'm really hyping this magazine up. For you here. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so that looks good. Um, got my my new magazine cover all ready to go. Now, I'm not liking this background image for, for my Being Thrilled magazine. It's just, it's too peaceful. So I kind of want to switch it out. So if I select it and right click on it, I can click uh, Change Element. And that'll bring up my uh, uploads, my media uploads. And I can upload new media. I already have some already in here. I'm just going to choose from. Um, and ooh, this fire looks pretty thrilling. Let's add that. So it replaces the, the background image just with your new one. If I click on this lollipop coming off the, the bounding box of the image, you'll see these little circles showing you the edges. And click Shift and click that. It'll kind of rotate and snap as you rotate. And I can just kind of line it up to where the magazine area is work area is that's looks good all right that looks pretty thrilling um, but my title gets lost now with the color so I'm just gonna click on the uh, the title and up here is your color swatch so I click on that and I can select any color I want and there's a little eyedropper tool here I can click too and I just want it to be white so I'm just gonna I can either click the eyedropper and select or I can just drag it up and select. There we go. Okay, I want my title maybe to stand out a little bit more. So I'm gonna go over to select my, my text box and go over to effects and the stroke tool has its own color swatch. When I click that, it comes up. And I, I think I like white for the text and then I want it to be similar to this color. So if I click the eyedropper, I can just select an orange 
And then if I reselect the text box and go back into the stroke tool, I can adjust the, the size of the stroke. And underneath there, you, you can see you can um, change the shadow tool as well. And I'm going to change that to get a better, more dramatic look to it. I can change the opacity so it's darker and the blur there kind of stands out a little bit more. I like that. Okay. Um, I think it needs like a, a bigger graphic maybe to fill this area. So I'm going to go back into my media. I can also put a, put backgrounds in there. These are um, our library of backgrounds you can add, or you can add a clip art, any clip art from our, our clip art library. You can also add just by clicking on it um, and a shape. You can uh, add icons or some shapes to add to your work area, but I'm just going to see what else I got in my, my uploads here. Go. To, oh, I thought I saw something I like. Yeah. I'm just going to take the presenter media guy and I'm going to put him over here maybe resize him up. So he's a little more dramatic over here. And then I'm going to go over to layers right here and find that presenter media guy and drag him down below all the text maybe uh, yeah I think that's fine that looks good let's see one other thing I can do is select the background image and go to filters and this is where you can kind of do some filtering on on images you upload like change the hue color if I want just going to leave it kind of where it was. Saturation will make it darker and brightness, of course, will brighten it up. There's also contrast. I can blur stuff if I want to, but I'm going to leave it and also pixelate it. But I am just going to, yeah, maybe pixelate. Ah, I'm not going to pixelate. I'm going to take the pixelation off. And also you have presets of stuff that you could add to your, um, your background image or other image so but I'm gonna leave it as is because I like it okay I think that's all I'm gonna show you here um, I'm gonna go down to download formats as PNG I can do small medium or large I'm gonna go large to do the biggest size and I'm gonna do build custom graphic and that's gonna build the graphic and it takes about a minute and it'll be back um, some items take longer to process like videos but um, yeah, we'll just uh, see you back here in just a minute. Okay, I'm back and I got a notification down in my bottom right corner of my screen saying that my magazine graphic has been completed, um, that I can go to my media, media to view um, the completed project so um, I can either click on that notification or I can go up here to my media and uploads and it gives me a whole list of all these customizations that I've done and usually it's gonna be the top one so looks like uh, that one completed and I click the preview and it looks like it yeah completed it looks good Judd's magazine it's gonna be a best-selling magazine I think in my world. <laughs> um, so here I can download, save, redo, or delete. I'm just going to close out of this. And then also here you can download, click to save. So if you click to save, it'll be saved forever. Um, if you don't, after 90 days, it'll be deleted to save space on the server. Um, you can also retry or redo all projects, or you can delete them. Okay, um, I'm going to show you one other, th one other thing here, I'm going to go to some clip art and go to, m there's different kind of customizations. Um, this one, I believe is a text edit customization. So I'll click on customize this item. Yes. And then this one pretty much just allows you to change the text on this item. There's no, there's no work area. So, We'll just put awesome in there 
and then that's all you do. And then click, uh, or you can also change the color if you need a different color. That looks good. You can also change the size to download. I'll download the biggest again, build custom graphic, and see you in just a minute. Okay, I'm back and I got a notification that my project was completed. I'm gonna go to My Media and Uploads and there it is at the top. I'm gonna go Preview and there's my new graphic customized to how I wanted it with the text I wanted. And I'm gonna close that. And inside this My Media, you can also view your uploads. So any anything you've uploaded, you can add here or delete just another uh, interface to see see that and then I'm going to go back to um, let's see view projects to see that yep okay and I believe that's all for right now so we'll talk to you later bye